This is one of my favorite things here. It uh, is. Because I have tea in the morning, yeah. every every morning. Yeah. And in the beginning, I would just have hot, run hot water mm -hmm. and have my tea bag into the cup. And then I tried this and I'm like, wow. So much better. It's so much better because yes. it takes away all the bitterness yes. uh, from the tea. Yes. And just, I would leave it up to you to explain why this happens. Because obviously for me, I'm like, this is just better. All right. That's called percolation, which is water going through Already material. Already lost me. Right? So percolation is yes. a type of extraction where water runs through something else. Okay. Okay. And it works for things like pour over coffee. Yeah. It does not work for tea. Tea wants extended water contact. Mm. Okay. And then you drain. Yeah. So percolation, not so good. So this tea porter filter was invented, as far as I know, in Taiwan and paired up with some custom espresso machines. Mm. We use it in a way that was never meant to be used. We do that at Decent Espresso. But mm. let me explain what this is. It's basically a porter filter with a screen. Okay, so you put your tea in here yeah. and water's going to go in here. But what's unusual is it's got a spring here with a valve. And what the Taiwanese company do is they just run water through and then they pause for like mm. 30 seconds and run some water through. And it tastes okay. less bad. But it's all that bubble tea for them, so yeah. lots of sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to make good tea with this. Yeah. And with the decent we can, because what we do is mm. we run water and then we let this valve essentially be a way to uh, control what comes out, when it comes out and when it doesn't. This thing opens up at about three bar of pressure. Okay. So what we can do is put water in, mm. keep the pressure under two bar, and then basically let us brew some tea. Ooh. Then flush it. Got it. And then do another brew. So it's kind of like the traditional Chinese tea. It is the Chinese tea. And yeah. my, my favorite way of brewing tea is this little little teapot. Yeah. You pour water in, you only wait like 30 seconds, you pour it out. Yeah. Okay, and you pour all of it out. It tastes really good. Yeah. So that's what we're doing with this. Uh, we just make successive brews with clean water. And That's the reason awesome. the tea tastes so good yeah. is because each time it's a short brew and yeah. each time it's clean water. Yeah, yeah. So starting with clean water, you get more yeah. uh, stuff out. And yeah. you'll see, I'm gonna make builder's tea. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's gonna be really strong. Not a sponsored ad. But not tannic. And Th that was gonna be my next question. So when I was making tea for years, mm. I would leave the bag in too long, I'm a dummy, and then I forget, and then I come back and it's too bitter. Right. So, I mean, first of all, it's just over-extracted. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing is this computer is going to yeah. make it to the recipe we think tastes good. Yeah. It takes about three minutes. I guess, obviously, the, the, the other thing is that the tea bag is not in your cup, so you can forget it and nothing happens. That's right. Okay. Um, the other thing about doing tea on the Decent mm. is that we've got recipes for different types of teas at different temperatures. Did you make that? Yeah, I did, but Scott Rayo wrote a book called Everything But Espresso, and he's got a large section on tea. And nice. uh, when I told him about this, he says he's not interested because <laughs> tea made in an espresso machine tastes bad. Yeah. I was like, give it a chance, give it a chance. Yeah. So he told me all about the different temperatures. Mm. Um, and I've been doing that. And I think I'm making really good tea with Scott's help. So yeah. okay. you can make tea with tea bags or yeah. with loose leaf tea. We're going to do both. Okay. Okay. Sweet. So tea bag, super easy. Open it up. Okay. And you can do one of two <laughs> things, depending yeah. if you're really neurotic and you don't want to drink tea made with a tea label, yeah. right? Then you do that, Yeah. okay? And then just lock it in like so. Then we go to settings and let's see, I need to unhide, so I tap yeah. on there. Okay. And here, tea porter filter, black tea, Chinese tea, Japanese tea, dark, oolong, tisane. You have you have a recipe for all of that. There is also an insane one. There's a tea forum on the internet with a bunch mm. of tea experts, and they were interested in knowing if they could go beyond 100 degrees. Um, wow. Not so much with normal teas, yeah. but especially with infusions. Yeah, okay. So we did that. Because there's a little bit of pressure, we can go over 100 and not boil. Yeah. So we can make tea to 105 Celsius. Ooh. Okay, so that actually works Which really well. Which one is that? Well. It is, in fact, the Tizan recipe that goes up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see now. Okay. And uh, the temperature there says 100. Actually, these are at 100 degrees. Mm. Okay, so tisanes, you want to do it full temperature. Yeah. And I've got various kinds of recipes there. So that's less hot, 89 yeah. Celsius for oolong. Oolong dark is higher at 94. Mm. Plain old black tea is at that's 105. It. Yeah, okay. Okay. Interesting. And there's all sorts of fancy stuff going on here that you don't need to know about because basically a bunch of geeky people, myself included, yeah. have been working on these recipes for quite a long time. Yeah. Uh, the most recent ones that I'm happy with um, are trying to always get the same amount in your cup no matter what's going on. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to hit OK here. I'm going to get my handy dandy IKEA mug Ooh, available fancy. worldwide. <laughs> and all you do is hit start. Okay. And this takes about three minutes. 
So what's ha happening right now is this is the first infusion. So let me explain what's actually happening mm. with this instead of letting it just happen. <laughs> so this first step here just filled the infusion space yeah. with water and didn't flush any water out. Yeah. Okay. And then we waited 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds, there was a short little 10 second flush. Yeah. And that's what we're looking at here. That's the quite dark tea that's come out. Yeah. So in other words, we made a small amount of liquid, a small amount of tea, yeah. flush it out, put clean water in. Now wait another 30 seconds. What's the green line? So the green line is just holding a little bit of pressure on the tea. I see. So there's our second infusion. Yeah. So we're making four short infusions of tea. So here wow. we are. Okay. And at the end of that, the liquid's getting quite clear yeah. because clean water's come out. Yeah. So once again, our first fill, 30 seconds pause, flush out the first brew, yeah. 30 seconds pause, flush out the second brew. That is amazing. The nice thing is, is that this is making awesome tea yeah. and you don't have to think about it. Yeah, exactly. So can I have another tea is put tea back in, lock, hit, start. Yeah, and then leave for a few minutes. Don't come back, think you're... about the brainy stuff. It yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, and you never have to worry about leaving your tea back for too long That's or right. taking it out too, too quickly. And we're gonna see this actually, one of the things I love about mm. this is that people buy tea bags because they're messy. Because mm. when you get loose leaf tea yeah. and you have like those little filter things, you have a total mess. Yeah, yeah. Not with an espresso machine. Because espresso machines have learned to deal with messy stuff. They're called coffee grounds. Yeah. Same solution applies. Yeah, it's very clear here. now. Yeah. Because mm. this is the last infusion. Infusion. Yeah. Okay. And it also shows you the current steps. So there were basically eight steps it showed. The That's last right. one was showing eight. That's right. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah. There's our tea. Yeah. It's, it's hard for me to tell you, mmm, that's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> so first problem is we don't have milk with me. Yeah. So this is going to Bugs and it's going to have milk added and she's going to go, mmm, that's good tea. Yep. We hear from the next door every day. Like she's like, good tea. Good tea. Yeah. All yeah. right. So what I'm going to do now is just open this up. There is some hot yeah. water still yeah. here. You can see how strong that is. It's not that strong because yeah. we've yeah. extracted most of this tea back. Yeah, okay. that's right. This is the cool bit is you just throw it out, knock and it into a porter filter. Okay. You're done. If you want, you can rinse. Yeah. So this is Vietnamese tea that I really like. Yeah, that, this and one is good. I, I don't actually precisely measure it. I just have a spoon that's already in here. Okay. Okay. That's how I make it for normal tea that's going to drink just one spoonful. Right. That I'm going to drink. If I want to make it with milk, I put two spoonfuls in. Mm. Okay. But there we are, just loose leaf tea. Yeah. And the filter is going to handle it. Yeah. So no need to have a tea bag, and once again, just uh, go in. No screens, nothing. Lock just, it in. Yeah. Okay. Also, what's nice is it takes about forty seconds for the tea to actually uh, come out. We probably need a cup. That's what I'm saying. Is yeah. because there's like forty seconds until yeah. it comes out. Because this is the fill cycle. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, we're using the same recipe, yeah. Uh, we are using the same recipe. Okay. Yeah. We could go a different recipe. If I were using, for example, a white tea, I would drop the temperature to 70 Celsius. Mm. So this also makes some of the best tea in the world for a different reason, which is our temperature accuracy. Right, okay? that's one of the main it things about this. It is one of the things about this, that's right. So yeah. look at that. So we are totally nailing within, Wow. how close are we? We are we're, I'm like one within degree down? Seven centigrade yeah. in goal. Yeah. Okay? So when you say you want a 94 Celsius, tea, mm. you're getting a 94 Celsius tea. Right. Uh, what's interesting also is some of the classical Chinese recipes yeah. um, will involve submerging the teapot with boiling water and pouring it on in order to yeah. get the teapot to be hot. Yeah, yeah. We're doing the same thing, right? This is a, a stainless steel porta filter yeah. that's been brought up to temperature inside yeah. the espresso machine. So it is actually yeah. like having your own tea servant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's a master of all these things. And here we are, we've got tea coming out. Um, I quite like this Vietnamese tea. It's still a black tea. It's very nice. But yeah. it's really gentle. With with milk, it's actually quite nice mm -hmm. as well when you have mm -hmm. two teaspoons. So um, the only thing that's kind of boring for videos is the temperature page on the decent is a nice flat line on the goal. So there, <laughs> there, there's no drama. Yeah, um, yeah. So now now we're actually at within 0.1 Celsius of the goal temperature. And at each stage, you're going to see the tea get lighter as it extracts more and more. That's brilliant. It takes about three minutes to make a cup. Now, I tried to make faster cups at two minutes mm. and they're just not as strong.
this is how like people can buy this now from the yeah, website. Yeah, so you right? can buy this. Um, so just to summarize, mm. the thing about the tea porter filter is mm. that it is less mess to make loose leaf teas. Yeah. The teas will taste better. You can do all the geeky stuff with temperatures and all that precision, and you don't yeah. do anything. You just pick a recipe. Yeah. You also just get to make more tea. Yeah. Easily, just hit start. Right. Okay. And it's inexpensive. We on purpose uh, do not charge much for the, for the tea porter filter yeah. because you already gave us a lot of money for your decent espresso machine. Yeah. So we're just one thank thing you. I noticed also from interacting with people is that some people want to buy the decent, but they're worried that their wives or their partners don't drink that much coffee. Yes. But they do drink tea. Yes. But I don't think it's clear enough that the decent can also make amazing tea. So and that's that why we're is, doing this video. That um, is the tea. Yeah. It is quite pretty. And what is cool here is I can open this up, okay? Yeah. And there is my slurry. Yeah, and you're okay. also, it's, it's holding the, the valve. It's holding it, yeah, so everything's yeah. there. So here's what yeah. I want to show you is I knock this out. Okay, and boom, I am now yeah. ready to make another tea. So yeah. if you're a cafe and you are sick of doing loose leaf tea service because it's a yeah. mess, yeah. this is so fast. It's so easy and you just lock it in, start tea and every yeah. teacup is perfect. And if you have another decent, you're already pulling a shot of coffee next to it. That's right. And look at these two. This is the difference between Vietnamese tea and British tea. One you can hold a spoon in, the other one is delicate and floral. <laughs> Lovely stuff. All right. All right, I'm gonna have that Vietnamese one, thank you. Sounds good, this one's going to bugs with some milk. Thank you for joining us and hope to see you with a teacup in your hand in the near future. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.